Today, we have yet another PSA return, and today, we're giving away two slabs to two lucky subscribers. All you gotta do, again, be subscribed to the channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let's reveal these grades and see what we got. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have been getting a slew of PSA returns lately because they recently changed their turnaround time. So I'm really excited about this. We're just gonna dig right in. Slightly off center, got a Charmander Battle Styles promo. I'm gonna go with an eight. Yeah, eight. All right, slight corner wear up top. Sylveon VMAX Evolving Skies, probably an eight. Whoa, I don't know. I probably would have given it just a nine, but uh, hey, off center on the back, but that's about it. Aerodactyl 151 Hollow, I'll go with a nine. What? That one, definitely a nine, because the centering is very off its rocker, but hey, we'll just go with it. I'm not a professional grader, people. <laughs> Centering's pretty good. A first edition fire energy from the original base set. It may just be an energy, but it's a first edition base set. Shadowless people. I would go with an eight. Near mint eight, probably not worth a whole lot, but it's trying to go for that 10, because a 10 I think was like 40 or 50 bucks or something like that, so what the heck. The corners look good. Oh, our Magikarp illustration rare. Probably a nine. Holy crap. Crap, we got the 10. Got the gem mint 10 on it. Nice. Looks good to me. Actually, nothing wrong there. The Rayquaza Hollow promo. This one I actually got off the TCG player. Definitely a nine. Okay, we got the mint nine. Nice. The Mewtwo EX full art from Breakthrough. This is nine worthy to me. Yes. We got the nine. This is beat to a pulp, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the higher end cards from that old vintage box. Did send some to PSA. Yeah, it's our first edition Rocket Sneak Attack Hollow from Team Rocket. Of course, I'm going to send it. I couldn't bulk this. It's probably a six. I actually got it right. It's a six. You know what? I'll take it. Shoot, it's a first edition vintage hollow. Another jacked up one. The Surge's Fear oh, we pulled out of the Poke Collect Master Packs. It's more realistically a seven, probably. Oh, it got the six. That's not too far off. The back is pretty jacked up on the corners. Vintage hollow. I'll take it. Off center. Fossil Haunter, the non hollow rare. I'm gonna guess an eight. Okay, it was more seven. I do understand that because the corners were pretty jacked up, but hey, I'll take it. Minor edge wear, I wouldn't say it's that bad. We actually got four of these, all from TCG Player, to just see the variation of grades we can possibly get, like we did with CGC before. I think it's more than eight. Really? Wow, first TCG player near mint card that got a PSA 10. Nice. Minor edge wear, nothing too crazy. Centering's good. Yep, there's another one. I'm gonna go with a nine. It's not too bad. Oh, we got the eight. We'll take it. Charizard V, Crown Zenith. Yes, it's only a V card, but it's my boy Charizard, so we're grading it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a nine because centering's the only issue, really. Okay. I will take a Gem Mint 10 Charizard any day. Base Set Unlimited Pikachu. My boy, original base set. Everybody loves the base set Pikachu, come on. It's probably more seven. Yeah, near mint seven. I'm not gonna complain. Look, great to me. Radiant Charizard, Crown Zenith. Of course, there's always gonna be a slew of these flying around. 10. There we go. Gem Mint 10 Zard. Gotta love it. Centering is wildly off on the back. But edges look good. Test Tube Mewtwo from Shining Legends. Gotta be a nine. It's crisp. It's pack fresh, people. Hey. Ah. Hey, it's a Test Tube Mewtwo. It's still worth a chunk of change in an eight. Centering looks good. Smeargle Hollow from Neo Discovery. Seven. Oh, six, huh? Oh, yeah. That hollow is scratched up pretty good. But hey, again, vintage hollow. I won't whine about it. Looks good to me. Off center. Poppy special illustration rare. I think it's more nine than a 10. Okay. Yep, we got the nine. Edges are creamed. 
Vaporeon Hollow from Pop Series 3. I think it's more 7. Oh, my. Oh, I see it now. There's a big crease down in the corner here. I did not notice that before. Bummer. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Charizard EX from the Premium Collection. I'm thinking a 9 on this. Yes, so we got the nine. Again, Charizard probably wouldn't complain if it was a two. Venusaur EX Full Art from 151. I'm going 10 on this bad boy. Come on. Yes. Gem Mint 10 Venusaur EX Full Art. Very minor edge wear. The Alakazam EX Special Illustration Rare from 151. This has got to be a 10. Hey, that's a mint nine. I will take that. I love this artwork. Looks pristine in the back. Tulip Special Illustration Rare. It looks like a 10 to me. Yes! That is a nice gem mint 10. Perfect on the back. Snorlax Promo 151 ETB. Looks pristine to me. A 10, come on. Yes! There we go, there's our 10s. Nice. Looks good to me. Another one. Yep, we got two of these sent in. 10, come on. Okay, we'll take the nine. Again, looks good off center, but whatever. The Almanite illustration rare. This has got to be a 10. Hey, at least it's still a mint nine. Edges a little rough on some of them. Dark Venusaur best of promo. So I'm going to go with the seven. Okay, we got the eight. Nice. Oh, the Rika special illustration rare from Paradox Rift. It's got to be a 10. There we go. Yes. Gem Mint 10. I really like this artwork. Yeah, the edges are incredibly jacked up. This is our Lugia EX. This is definitely like a four, probably. Wow, a PSA 2, you know, what can you do? But we'll take it. Minor Edgeware. The Venusaur Ignition theme deck non-hollow. This should be a nine for sure. Oh, come on. I don't think a seven was warranted. What can you do? Yeah, minor edge wear off center a little bit there. We got this promo off a TCG player and we got four of them. It looks good to me, but I think a nine is more realistic. Eight, that is fine. Minor edge wear, nothing crazy. Here's the next one. This has got to be a nine. Another eight? Come on, that's at least a nine. This is all messed up. Maybe one of those old vintage. Yes, okay. The Hollow Zapto Space Set Unlimited. Honestly, it was one of the best looking ones we pulled. So I think this should at least be a seven. Oh, well, okay. Doesn't look too bad on the back. I thought we already did four. We must have only done three of these. So here's our fourth one. Probably more like a nine. Another eight. Okay, we're nearing the end here. Looks great to me. The next Eevee. This one has got to be a 10. I see nothing wrong here. How is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not even gonna decipher this. Looks good off center, but whatever. Radiant Charizard. We sent in two of these. At least a nine. Okay, there we go. We got two Gem Mint 10 Radiant Charizards. Minor edge wear on those corners. A slow poke common from Fossil. You gotta try it. Probably a nine. How is this an eight? Oh, well, we got two left. Minor edge whitening, but nothing crazy at all. Our next Eevee, I'll go with a nine. Probably an eight. <laughs> How? Okay. What is going on? This is not a seven. Let's end it on our last vintage hit. I mean, you could already tell it's all creased up in the back. It's just bent up from the floor up all the way across the card. This is going to be a one. <laughs> okay, we got lucky. We got the two. I sent this one in for fun, people. I can't throw away an ancient Mew. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.